Heart valve disease is a condition in which the heart valves no longer work efficiently and affects more than one in eight people age 75 and older. In a healthy heart, blood flows freely from the left ventricle through the aortic valve to the aorta. However, during aortic stenosis, AS, the aortic valve does not open fully. As the aortic valve narrows, the left ventricle must work harder to pump blood out. This can lead to ventricular hypertrophy and chest pain. Symptoms of AS develop gradually and may not be apparent until the disease is advanced. Chest pain may be present at rest and commonly worsens during exertion and may reach into the arm, neck, or jaw. In addition, patients with AS experience breathing problems and become tired easily. They also typically experience palpitations, dizziness, or syncope. Risk factors for AS include age, high blood pressure, smoking, diabetes, and elevated low-density lipoprotein cholesterol levels. Obstruction of blood flow across the aortic valve during AS typically results in a heart murmur, which can be detected by auscultating the heart over the second right intercostal space at the right sternal border. Following detection, AS can be classified based on heart ultrasound results to calculate the aortic valve area and gradient. A healthy aortic valve has a pressure gradient of a few millimeters of mercury. However, decreased aortic valve area increases this gradient and can thus be used to subdivide AS into mild, less than 20 millimeters of mercury, moderate, 20 to 40 millimeters of mercury, or severe, greater than 40 millimeters of mercury. AS is typically treated with surgical valve replacement involving open heart surgery. However, transcatheter aortic valve implantation, TAVI, has been established as an option for intermediate risk, high risk, and inoperable patients with valve delivery via transaortic, transapical, or transfemoral access. Upon suspicion of AS, consult a cardiologist for further clarification.